Asta Wasta McPasta, you got your marker? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We hope you got a marker and you're going to follow along with us. What are we drawing today? Penguin. Yeah, we're going to draw a really cool penguin. How old are you? Five. You're five years old. So we're going to keep this lesson <laughs> simple for our young art friends, but it's also going to be a lot of fun for the older ones. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, my little buddy, we're going to draw our penguin's eyes first. We're going to draw a circle right here in the middle of our paper. We're going to draw two circles for our penguin's eyes. So we'll do one circle like this. Go ahead, you do your first circle. It may be a little, scoot over just a little bit. Yeah, right, a little closer to the middle. There we go. And draw a big circle for the eyes. There's one. Then we're gonna leave some space and we're gonna add our other eye for the ping, for our penguin. Yes. Yeah, that's a good spot. Right there. Oh, well, that's a big one. I like it. <laughs> okay, now in the eyes, we're gonna draw smaller circles for the light reflecting in our penguin's eyes so they look shiny and happy. So we're gonna do a circle on the top right. Yep, and I'm gonna add one to this side too. Good job, and then one on the other side. Ooh, that's a little one. Good, that's, that works out. I like it. Okay, and then we're gonna add a smaller one down in the bottom left of our eyes. Good job. Perfect, now let's color in the big circle but leave the little circles white. That's okay, buddy. You colored in the little circles, huh? Mm -hmm. You wanna add another circle in there? Add another circle right here at the top and then we can color in the big ones. I like your eyes, they look different than mine. And that's okay, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? It's to have fun. Yes, to have fun. We hope you guys are having a lot of fun too. Don't worry about making your drawings look perfect, right? Yeah. Yes, it's okay. You can always start over or you can just make a little change and it's okay because it looks different, right? Yeah. Should we keep going? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Next step, we're gonna draw our penguin's beak right in the middle in between our eyes. So I'm gonna draw a U shape like this for the beak, little U shape in between the eyes. You can draw yours right here. Yes, and then we're gonna connect the top with another curve. There's our beak. Good. Next, let's draw our penguin's body. We're gonna draw a U shape. We're gonna start right here on the side of the eye, and we're gonna draw a U shape that comes over to this side. So draw a U, it comes down, and it's gonna kinda of look like a baby penguin. <laughs> and then come back over to the other side. So start right here, draw a U that comes over to this side. Yes, perfect. Now we're gonna draw a rainbow line that goes over the top and connects. So we draw a rainbow line that comes all the way over and connects over to the other side. Yes, you did it. <laughs> I like how round your penguin is. Now right up here at the top, in between the eyes, we're gonna draw a little U shape that comes down. Watch this. We're gonna draw a U that comes down and then back up. And we're gonna color in this top part black so we won't see this line. So we're gonna start right here, come down and then back up. Yes, go down and then back up. I like it. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the outside of our penguin. So we're gonna draw another U on the outside. We're gonna come down like this, come over, and then we're gonna come back up. Right next to the eye over here. So start right here, come down, and then back up. <laughs> next we're gonna draw the rainbow line that connects just like we did at the beginning. We're gonna go over the top and back down. Yeah, good job, give me five dudes, you did awesome. We finished our penguin's body, and what should we draw next? His flippers. Yes, let's draw our penguin's flippers. Now we're gonna draw a little sideways V shape on this side, right next to his eye. <laughs> draw a little V shape that comes out and then back in. <laughs> and that's a little one. And then we're gonna draw another one on this side and you could draw it the same size so that they match. <laughs> now 
<laughs> Good job. I like it. Next, what should we draw? His feet. His feet. Okay. We're going to draw another V shape that comes out and then back in. There's one foot. Yep. And then back in. <laughs> and then we're going to draw another one over here to match because he has two feet, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. And then back up. Perfect. <laughs> I like your penguin. Now you guys at home can add extra details to your penguin. I'm going to turn my penguin into a girl and you can leave yours just like that. Mine's a girl now. I added eyelashes and I also added a little flower in her hair. Okay, now we're gonna draw an iceberg. We're gonna draw our penguin standing on an ice block. Sound cool? Yeah. Okay, we're right here on the side of our penguins. Let's draw a small line that comes out on both sides like that. So we'll draw a line right here, comes out, and another line over here that comes out over there. Now, from each of these lines, we're going to draw a sideways M or a W. So it's going to come in and go back out, and then we're going to come back in like that. Doesn't that look like a big sideways M? So we'll come into there, back out, and then come back down. Do you like it when I give you dots? Yeah. All right. How about on this side, we try to do it without dots. So watch this. It's going to be tricky. We're going to come back in, out. And then we're going to go back in really far. You try it. Do you want me to give you dots? <laughs> okay, I'll give you dots. We'll go in, back out, and then back in really far. <laughs> in, there's one line. And you guys at home, if, if you need extra time, you can always pause the video and take that extra time and then start the video back up. Okay, right down here at the bottom, we're going to draw another little zigzag line that comes out on both sides. Yep. Good job. And then we're going to connect them. Like that. Now this is the top of the iceberg that our penguin's sitting on, okay? We're going to draw the edges next. So right here, let's draw a line that connects down. So we're going to draw a line from here and connect it down. We're going to make it look 3D. So that's the edge. We're going to draw a line comes down and connects to that. Good. Now let's connect the other side. We can connect the other side. Come straight down. Straight down. Yes, good job. <laughs> and then we're going to draw another line on each side. Now I'm going to match these lines right here. So we're going to match the same direction. Come down on both sides. So let's draw one that comes down to there and one that comes down to there. Good. And then from this edge down to there. Good. Now let's draw two more lines for the edges down. And this is going to be the same length right here and go the same direction as that one. And this one over here is going to be the same length here and go in the same direction also. So this might be a little tricky. And if you guys at home want to leave the ice block off, you can. You don't have to draw this iceberg if you don't want to. So we're going to draw this line. It comes down to there and this line that comes down to there. All right, now we need to connect these lines. So I'm gonna draw this line right here. I'm gonna draw it down here. See how that matches? So let's draw this line right to there. It's gonna match. Curve? Just like that one. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And then we're gonna draw a matching line over here. See, this line is going to match this line up here. So you match this one. We'll go right to there. Wait, and then yeah. right there? Yep. Yeah. Good. And then the very last line, we're going to draw this same line right here and connect these two lines down at the bottom. So I'm going to draw a big curve that connects and looks the same. Yeah, draw it straight across. Good job, Austin. We did it. We finished our penguins, and we also drew an iceberg that she's floating on, or he's floating on. Okay, let's put our markers off to the side, and we got our colored pencils. We're going to fast forward the coloring part, but you guys at home can pause the video when we're done fast forwarding so that you can match the same coloring that we're doing. 
Now we're gonna use orange for the beak, black for the penguin, blue for the iceberg, and pink I'm gonna use for the flower in her hair and also give her rosy cheeks. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it right now. Awesome, good job, man. You finished coloring your penguin and you did awesome. How old are you again? Five. Five, you can be super proud of your penguin. And it's okay that they look different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the most important thing is to have Fun. Yes, to have fun. fun. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own penguins. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Should we be little penguins? Yeah. You gotta have the little wings. Swim, swim, <laughs> swim. I think that's how they swim. Good job. <laughs>